Okay, now that you have named all of your tracks, uh, it's time to start trimming them up. So if we listen to this whole track here. Sam Caswell doing wind. We have a lot of this space right here that we do not need because we don't need to have Sam saying Sam Caswell doing wind. Um, so what you're going to do is move your playhead back to the beginning and to make it play hit space bar. Sam Caswell doing wind. Let it play throughout the part that you do not want and then hit space bar again and it will stop. Make sure you have selected the track. If it is solid orange like this, the track is not selected. You need to have that white bar along the top. Select your track and choose hold the command key and hit tap the trim key or the T key to trim it and get rid of the excess that you do not need and then slide it all the way to the left so you don't have any dead space. And then play again. Okay, I'm going to stop it there because I'm going to end it there, but I am going to trim off a little bit more in the beginning. Trim, get rid of that empty stuff, slide this down. So I should have just wind. Now there's this other bit of his um, audio file that we still have. So let's say I want to keep that, but I need to make its own separate track. Uh, so this is going to be wind one, and we're going to make a second layer here for wind two. So to do that, just click this little plus sign, choose voice, change the input to no input, and then click create. It's going to drop one down here, and I can just simply take this part of my audio file and drag it down to the next row. And so now I'll have wind one and wind two. I'm gonna mute wind one and continue to edit wind two. So it should get trimmed right about here. So I do command T to trim it and I get rid of all the extra stuff. Once that's done, I mute it again and I move on to the next bit. So the next piece is going to be Gollum's voiceover. Sam Caswell recording Gollum voiceover. And again, you want to make sure you've selected that audio file for the track. Hold command, tap the letter T so you can trim off all the excess. Slide to the left. Keep listening to the track. The thieves, the thieves, the filthy little thieves. It has, they stole it from us. And then you let that go until you're satisfied with how much you have and how good it sounds. And then, of course, I need to trim off the little extra at the end, the little sound effect at the end there. And when you're finished, mute it. Okay? Continue to do that for all of your audio tracks until they're all perfect. Okay? Each audio track or each sound effect needs to have its own line. Okay? So everything needs to have its own track line. So if you need to, add a input or a track, if you will. Um, and rename it. So wind one, wind two, voice over one, voice over two, falling on the ground one, falling on the ground two. It will make your life easier when you move into iMovie to sync these up with your film. All right, so go ahead and move on to tutorial number three.